Hey, Primary 5 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. So, yesterday we began on a new topic called triangles. Now, I gave you a very easy question. I want to test how good you are at math, I mean, I mean at, at triangles. And so I gave you that question. So let's take a look at yesterday's question again. Yesterday's question was, the height of a triangle is thrice the length of its base. If the height is 36 cm, what is the area of the triangle? Okay, the answer is 216 cm squared. And if you got that right, you are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, how do we do this question? Now, I want you to understand one thing about triangles. Let's give you a very quick um, study of uh, what triangles is. Okay, so just, just do this. Delete this and... Okay, so a triangle, let's we quickly draw it for you, is broken down into a few parts. Okay, a triangle has something called the height. In this case, this is the height. Okay, and then it has something called the base, which is this base. Okay, you can try to draw it as straight as possible. This is called the base. Okay, and then there's something called there's something very weird. Okay, it's called the hypotenuse. I don't think you will learn this. You won't learn this in secondary school. But I'm just gonna tell you what it's called. It's called a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay, I don't even know how to spell it actually. I don't know whether this is the right spelling, but anyway, this is a hypotenuse. Okay, it's an A, hypotenuse. I think that's how it's spelled. But anyways, English is not uh, important right now. Right now, I want you to understand one thing. There's something called the height. There's something called the base, and there's something called the hypotenuse. This one you don't have to study yet. Not yet. Okay, just know that this is called the hypotenuse. Let's focus on the height and the base. So the area of a triangle. Okay, remember how do we find out what does perimeter and what does area mean? A perimeter, what do we do? For perimeter, what do we do to the numbers? Yes, correct, we add them. Why? Because there is a plus sign in the middle of the word perimeter. So which means you add height plus base plus hypotenuse will give you the perimeter of a triangle. But how about area? Area is not plus. Area, we, what do we do? We multiply. We times. Okay, area times. Okay, so... In this case, what is the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle, okay, I'm just going to write this for you. Area of a triangle, okay, equals to half times your base times your height equals, okay, and why? Why do we get half? Because if you were to imagine this, if I draw it out for you, to look here, very interesting, very cool math here. What, will you, what you will see is, you will actually get a rectangle or a square. And the area of the rectangle will be base times height, correct? But a triangle is half of a square or a rectangle. Therefore, you have to put half in front of it, or half in front of the base and the height in order for you to find the area. So now that you know this, I want you to find out what's the answer for this question by yourself. Okay, it's very simple. Let's write down the, the, the first steps. The height of the triangle is thrice the length of its base of its base. So imagine a big triangle, the height is very tall, and you have a very short height, which is about one third of it. Okay? Which is and then you draw it something like that. Okay. Okay, so this is the height and this is the base. Okay. If the height is 36 cm, that means this is one third. That means you have to divide it by what? Three because they say it's thrice. So the height is equals to 36 cm divided by 3, correct, which is equals to what? 12. 12 cm. Sorry, the base, not the height. The base equals to 12 cm. So you find out that this is 12 and this was 36. Now, how do you find the area? The area is equals to half times base times height. Remember that? I told you just now? Yes, correct. So what is the base? The base we found out was 12. And what is the height? The height is 36. Wow, such big, big numbers we have here. So all you have to do is just divide this thing. Okay, can you see? It's 2 cancel, you cancel here, you get what? 6. So the answer is 6 times 36. And you do your long division, you will find out that the answer was, let's just do it very quickly, 36 times 6. 6 times 6 is what? 36. Correct. 6 times 3 equals 18. Plus 3 equals to 21. And hence the answer is 216. 
cm and not leave it here it's cm squared and that is the answer for this question very easy if you got it right again I'm gonna give yourself a high five you are a math prodigy good job so let's move on to the next question of the day the question of the day is also on triangles for this week we're gonna work on triangles only the question is the perimeter of a triangle is 30 cm remember perimeter means plus 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 the size of a triangle find its area I'm gonna give you a help and draw for you the thing it looks a bit like this so 11 10 uh, the hypotenuse is 11 the base is 10 what is the height I want you to find the area of this triangle very easy stuff I expect you to get it right within one minute and remember all you have to do for this code of the week is line by line the answer is mine remember that line by line the answer is mine line by line the answer is what it's mine and with that this is coach signing off you are a math prodigy good job